Okay, here we are at the beginning of setting up the Ohio Fish Rescue's Christmas decorations. There's Joshy working hard on his knees. Or on the ground, I should say. So we don't get no adverse comments. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. This is where the train set's going to go, and the tree's going to go in the middle of it. Good job, Joshy. Now we've got ornaments and ornaments and old ornaments. These are from my grandmother. These things here were back when they used to silver these things. And you can see how the color's fading. But look at these. These were when I was a kid. I'm 56 years old, so 50 years ago, these were on my grandmother's trees. These were ornaments back then. Had a little manger setting. and get them to the light. And you'd hang and it had the glitter. There's another one of those. Oh, these things here. These were my favorite when I was a kid. You remember, you used to have them big, huge bulbs. And these would, would set above the bulbs. And the heat rising would make this spin. And I thought it was the neatest thing to see these things spinning on the tree. It was like magic. And look at the hooks. Even from today. These hooks, you cannot... Let me try and bend that close. Ugh. I can bend it, but man, it's rough. Them hooks are stiff. They're like little pieces of iron. They don't make stuff like that no more. And then we got regular, the glass ones that, that break easy. More of them. We got the cheap ones of today that are made of styrofoam. And we got a box of these here. This is a bunch more that we've collected over the years. We got our little Santa Claus here. All of our stockings going up there. We got the Christmas train here. Let's show them what that is. Okay. Right here is the Holiday Express. And the Santa turns and waves at you. Let me see. These guys here, they move up and down as they're going. All these all lit up. Uh, Santa's toy shop. The little conveyor goes and toys come out. And you got the light on here and then lights blinking in there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. This one here is the bake shop. Little fires lit up. There's lights all through here. A little shop in here. It looks like there's a fire in there. Uh, what's this one here? This is the uh, log mill car. Okay, it has a conveyor coming down here. And they're working and building things. And the light goes on. This one here is, what is this? Oh, it has Santa rocking in a thing. It has, oh, it's the post office mailbox. And uh, all kinds of lights on that. We'll show you this lit up later. This is one of our favorite ones. This here is um, a tanker car. And it has the water tanker here. And it looks like water's coming down. And then this is all ice. This guy here is on a magnet. And he spins around and, and skates all through there under the spotlight pretty neat so we're gonna set this all up and uh we'll get back at you now let me show you some more decorations starting to go up oh. we've got these guys here that we're hanging up all across here and every year i have the, the kids well, i call them kids but they're in their 20s buy another one so that by the time i'm gone they'll have Christmas ornaments that they've bought with dad every year of their life. So, and then here's where we set up all the Christmas cards and the sayings and the candles and stuff. And of course, this is going to be Christmas dinner here on the buffet. We have a big six foot Santa Claus. We have to un, un uh, box him. He's tied down right now, but he'll pop up. He dances and, and sings. And of course, the dinner table here. And we've got the tree to set up yet. We've got lots of decorations to set up yet. Okay, this is what we got done tonight. We put some hanging things on the, the cabinets, but we got a little tree here. That's not our tree. That's our little decoration tree. And we got all this ornament stuff here. We got some more of the garland across there and across here. Hi, Jay-Z. Hi. <laughs> now you come into here, and we've got garland across here and our, our uh, what do you call these? Our stockings, that's it. Hung, hung. There's no fire here, but they're hung. 
We got some decorations there. We got the six foot Santa here that dances. And then we got all these here. We got the train set up and waiting for the tree. We're going to do the tree tomorrow. This is some of the garland for the tree and all the ornaments for the tree and all that kind of stuff is sitting there waiting. But this is all we're doing tonight. We got everything else done. Oh, we got some more ornaments here. We got everything else done. And Tracy says, that's it. <laughs> we were told no more tonight. Now, why don't you turn around and tell the people why we're not allowed to decorate the house no more tonight? Enough work. <laughs> it's only eight o'clock though. Yeah, but, um, but, 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 <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am. Off the side, so you're only getting just a little bit of the train. There you go. There's our train. You have the ice skating guy in there? Yeah, he's spinning around. See if you can get in the middle now. You want that Christmas music in the background? Can't monetize it. Aww. Yeah, that car's broke too. It's broke. The log mail. Okay. Our little happy Santa there. Hi, Jaji. <laughs> He's taking out the tree. Notice we got the garland all hung. And then Mikey's little sock here. And Joshy's sock. And Mom's and Dad's. We used to have Goliath up there, but he's no longer with us. And let me see here. Let's get this tree put together. You want a knife? And there it's going to go right in the middle of our train set. I think last year we set it up on a uh, end table that was there that brought it up much higher because we have all this room up here in that tall ceiling that gave more room for presents underneath. Move this train. Sure. I think. Do you know which button it is? All right. I can't stop it. Second button to the right. <laughs> it stopped right on you. It's coming. Okay, buddy. I'm going to stop it right about now. Okay. We're getting there. It'll get there. There's a spot at the bottom of the tree that's got a gaping hole right about there. And then the top of the tree is bent, so we got to bend that back up. But it's going together. Oh, look at that. Oh, it stacks the lights up. That's neat. Oh, and then the colors. And it's stacking them up. Oh, how neat. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let me go to the next set. Is there battery for this remote? Because it's definitely not working. Trace, I need two batteries, please. Okay, these are the different lights that have the tree. Look at that. It's just kind of like pulsing. And there's this one, the twinkle. Oh, and then this one. That's pretty neat. I like it. And there's this one. Oh, how cool. Kind of like chasing. And then there's this. We still got a dead spot right here. We got to bend the branches out and right here. Joshy's working on that though. Oh, there's all on white. Nice. Oh, I like that pulsing thing. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Oh, that's neat. Oh, and then they stack up the colors. That's so cool. Stacking up the white. All trees should be like this. I like these lights. Okay. Every year we do a base color, 
Right now, this year, we're going with gold. So we have gold on it. We turned off the lights. We have gold on it all the way around. We did this side. Ugh. Then Josh is doing this side now. Next, after that, we've got all these little disco balls. This is for this half of the tree. This is for this half of the tree right here. And then we've got extras we're putting on, filling the holes of all different colors. So, uh, this is what it'll end up looking like. You've got a main color and then a bunch of uh, other little colors all around it. So, silver and gold is the theme this year. Last year, it's purple. We actually had this purple as the garland on there. This year, we're going to use this silver and gold garland to go around the tree. Oh, Josh, we were supposed to put the garland on before the, the ornaments. I forgot. My bad. Okay, we went back and we fixed our, our problem. Uh, we got the garland on. This one here is off just a little bit. This got to go up. Okay. And then uh, we can finish now with the ornaments. Can't believe I forgot to do that. It's, been, it's only been 56 years of my life I've been putting Christmas ornaments up. <laughs> There's some missing you can see here. I need some gold in here. Here. So, okay, as Tracy and Josh add in the silver and gold ornaments, <coughs> and the garland's already on. I'm going to show you this here. This was last year's. So it was all purple. We got two different colors of purple ornaments, and then the purple garland, and then we filled in with all the, the red and the blue on here that filled in all the spaces. And I think I showed it earlier on the video, but I'm going to show you again. Let me get this stuff out of here. Uh, these are my grandmother's ornaments from way, way back when. We're talking 50-some years ago. Where they, it wasn't like a, I forget the process they went through, but it was some sort of silver process that they did on the inside of the bulbs. So you couldn't scratch them off. That's on the inside of the bulbs. But look at the bulb shape. And they're so delicate, they are glass. Not these, these here got added in there somehow. But these things, these old things. I showed you this earlier. Like, look at these things. Oh, not even pointing at it. There you go. Over 56 years old and not scratched, or the paint's missing, because it's on the inside of the, the bulb. Back when they took their time doing things. And like I said, the manger scene inside the things that's just great all kinds of old stuff but we can't put them up can you get your phone chase so i just keep them in remembrance i guess and then grandma always had a small tree she hooked up these little bulbs on and you can see by my hand how little they are that one on the table so and that's how we're doing it this year and they're getting it done with the silver and the gold Next year, we might go with red or blue or something. But it's nice to go Christmas shopping with your kids and getting new ornaments that you're going to leave to them and new uh, decorations for your tree and teaching them the right way to do it and the good way. Look, Chase, that Santa's as tall as you. Go over there and dance with Santa. <laughs> See, when I'm not home and you're feeling lonely, you can dance with Santa. <laughs> Here, come here. Plug him in for a second so people can see. There he goes. Plugs on the floor behind him. He's a dancing machine, Santa is. Okay, he's on now. Give him a second. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Santa. There he goes, dancing. Alright, get ready to unplug it when the song starts so we don't get... Shut it off! Shut it off quick! <laughs> we can't have that on there because YouTube will get mad at us. Alright. Oh, you're starting to put on the oddball ornaments now. You need to keep these things? Yeah, of course. Put them in the tree box. There's the long ones. And red ones. See, now that you got the main color on, you can offset it with little colors, but it'll still look like a main color of gold. Now we've got all the ornaments that the kids have made us through the years when they were going to school and stuff. 
<laughs> Work on this side over here, Josh. This is the main side you see. Where's your hat? Your Christmas hat. Pumpkin, get into the Christmas spirit. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> He's getting aggravated with me. <laughs> love you, pumpkin. I'd love you more if you put your hat on. <laughs> Can you say ho, ho, ho? Merry Christmas for the kid. <laughs> You're going to remember this when I'm gone. You're going to wish you had one more Christmas with Dad. While you're dealing with Mom's new boyfriend and stuff. Because <laughs> as soon as I'm gone, you're replacing me, huh? <laughs> no. You ain't got to lie to me. It's okay. <laughs> okay, see this one here hanging on the garland? It's pulling the garland down. Pull that one off so the garland's nice and straight. It's, it's a nice, you know, line all the way across. There, that's better. See, this is good family time. And then after we get done with all the ornaments, then we can hang the candy canes. Josh's favorite part. What was your favorite last year? Or all your life, basically? When I was young, about 20 years ago, the spree ones. The spree ones? He said, when I was young, about 20 years ago. <laughs> You're only 24 now, Punkin. You're still my baby boy. You're still my little Punkin boy, Jashi. <laughs> now, see, what I was talking about was, look at these. This is a box of things we've bought in the last four or five years. Look at this. Paint flaking all off, chipping off, you can rub it off. It's horrible looking. See if I can get it over here in the darkness. See all that cracked paint everywhere? It's just things are cheaper nowadays. If they were painted on the inside like the old school ones, they wouldn't be cracking and paint falling. Look at this blue one. Let me see. There you go. Look at how horrible that is. And that's just from rubbing together, being in a box. That's why they used to storm in these type things where nothing touched each other, but they don't come like that no more, and you got to save all the packaging, of course. But these were cheap ones that we bought and put them on as accents, and they're all rubbing paint off each other. Okay, we got the tree skirt on. We have a lot of the ornaments on. We're going to pick out some more yet, but I just wanted to see what it looks like with the lights. Go ahead and plug them in, Trace. Oh, okay. Okay, here's coming in from the living room. There's the tree. There's the tinsel. There's the train and the tree skirt. Then you got a little, our Christmas topper, which was an angel with fiber optics, doesn't work. So we had to throw that ornament for my grandmother up there. That's supposed to hang upside down, hanging from the thing like icicles. But Josh come up with the idea to use it as a tree topper. <laughs> so there it is. So far. Okay, so when you walk in, you see this. You hear the bells on the door when it opens and closes. And then you got the purple on the fish tank. They got purple on the table. You got gold all over this curio set. And gold all over this set. You got the little tree in that corner with silver and gold around it. And you have all these ornaments here and the tinsel. <coughs> and then that comes into the kitchen. <coughs> which come in here. There's Jazzy. Now look, you got, you got ornaments hanging from all the corners of the cabinets here and here. And then you got garland hanging. The socks. You got the Santa Clauses. You got this one here. You got all this, and then you got this to go outside, and you turn this way towards the dining room, and or the living room, and you got the tree. Tree's up and done. Now, all this extra stuff here can go into that box with the ornaments, but pack these up carefully, Trace. And this is our tree now. Where's the remote? Let's put that on a colored setting. There we go. That's better. 
pulsating color. There we go. Nice. You guys did a good job. All right, let's pack all this stuff up and put it away. This is the extra stuff. This is the tree box you can use for the ornaments now. And the extra stuff. There you go. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video for you. This is uh, Christmas at Ohio Fish Rescue. It's what we normally do. We wish you guys, everybody out there, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, however you want to take it, however you want to say it. I mean the best when I say it. I wish you all great holidays. Um, the fish, they get extra food for Christmas and holidays. They get all their little extras and table scraps and all kinds of stuff. So they'll get theirs. And uh, if any of you want to come by and see the place, just text me and set up an appointment. Till then, like, uh, subscribe, and share. That's it. And, of course, stay fishy, my friends. <laughs> Merry Christmas.